Hey everybody, this is Lord Magicus, and we're playing round six of the Penny Dreadful 500. Up against Briar Moss, and I think that he's playing a blue-black deck. I'm not sure. But I guess, oh, we're on the draw, I guess I'm going to keep this. Been watching some of the random coverage from this, so... I have, at this point, I have sort of an idea of what people are doing, but not like 100%, so. We might get hemmed. It definitely could happen. No hem. Okay, this is good. I think what's going to happen is I will play Brineborn at the end of their turn if they don't do anything. Gives me a chance to deprive something important. If I deprive, then I can just like play Silvergill in my turn. Or I could do the same trick again. We'll see. Hmm. All right, what are you going to do here? So you got black, black, blue up. All right, Cataxian probe away. They see what the deal is. Paying two life to do it, so. Alright, what do you got? Bring it. I think I am willing to deprive him here. <clears throat> it's a creature? Illusory Angel. Um, I do have snags, like... I have this Coral Helm. It could be... Like, letting this resolve could be a death sentence. I, I think I have to counter this. They might reanimate it. Alright, we just do the same thing again here. This is the power of Brineborn Cutthroat. It lets us not get destroyed by things like this. What are you going to do here? No tap. Only, only, uh, pass. They're probably going to try to bait me into tapping out for this Deprive. So I have to really think about what it is I can beat and can't beat here. Because I think... Yeah, that's what I was worried about. All right, they don't know what's happening here, so I'm just going to do it again. They think the coast is clear. They might that I'm just going to flash in Brineborn Cutthroat. It'd be really good to draw like Mistcaller. What are you doing? This does not make black mana yet, if that's what you're trying for. No. No! Uh, 
that's actually pretty good here. All right, so we got rid of a bunch of their threats. Now we just have to grind through the removal, hopefully. Cling to dust, that's got to be good news for us. Hmm. What are the chances that this is going to resolve? They might use a removal spell. All right, I think I, I'm going to take the shot on Sovereign because I think it's more likely to eat removal. Okay, that's good. What are you revealing here? So you get... Drown the lock and him to Tarak, huh? Interesting. I think we're winning this. They have seven cards, but like we have a bajillion pressure in play. And like tapping out for him is a death sentence, and I don't think Drown's gonna help them very much either. They play like Hostage Taker, I have Snag for it. So like what do you do here? Drown plus him? I don't know, but I, f I feel like we're okay here. Uh, okay. Actually, I know that they used one of these. So I play Sovereign. And like untap Mistress Factory. So, what happens here? I just let that go, and like they're. Yeah, okay. Just put them to one. Or no, let's put oh, never mind, they just gave up and put some to two. They realize they can't actually beat this board. Alright! Oh my god, we are so close. <sighs> okay. So I'm here like the one drops are actually surprisingly good. Um So what is not? Honestly, I like like all of these cards. The only thing that I would consider here is probably miscast. Cut one snag, one miscaller. That seems reasonable. Oh, but they have this they have a lot of creatures that I really want to snag, right? Is there anything else I'd want to cut? Not really, like, I think having instant speed stuff is actually really good, and the curse catchers are going to hurt them, so. Alright, I'll submit it like this. They might not be as keen to keep reanimate, though. Maybe. Um, this ant's fine.
So him, go ahead, him me, I dare you. I am not concerned. I'll show them the Regery. I think that's the thing I'm most likely to play. I wanted to play the island just in case I didn't get another island. If they him me now and I'm stuck with like factory island, I could actually be in trouble. So that's why we went island this turn. Okay. Cataxian probe away. They're paying mana for it. So yeah, they know their life total matters. Okay, excellent. Here I can play a factory. I'll play the Reger they know about. Okay, sure. I think this is a good spot to just hold back. Just attack with these two dummies. Interesting, they're not doing anything. What do you have in your hand? They're not doing anything. Five mana, what are you tapping out for? Absolutely fucking not. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> um, let's play Master. Get in with Factory. And now we are on the road to victory. Come on. Let's get there. He has three cards. What are your three cards? Oh, that's got to be a good sign. Kill him! Quickly, before he draws something. This is a way too much mana. The Serpent, okay, so you take six. I think I'm okay with that, actually. I think this still is good for us. What the fuck did they just do? Sack a Swamp, draw a card. You have to, like, kill this thing. Alright, what are you revealing here? I don't think those do it. I guess Cataxian... Like, this doesn't seem like it's gonna work. Would they keep him to Turok and Treasure Cruise? How... That can't be right. You're... What are you gonna do? Cruise here? You have, you have, like, yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, all right, we just cast another one of these. Actually, you know what? I'll do it like this. I'm not going to give them the chance. Alright, you can use removal if you have it. You know what? Because I just realized, like, if they kill that and they block, like, that might be bad. I didn't have enough mana to do what I wanted to do. Does this win? I should have played the Silvergill first. 
Okay, we win. No, wait. They gained... Wait, how did they... They gained a life. Oh, fuck. All right. Yeah, that was a fuck up. Then I should have played the Silver Gill first because they can hem me here, but like, I'm attacking with five things. They don't have any more swamps. Okay, like, all of these are lethal. Yeah, I definitely screwed that up. I. I, for, I didn't realize. I forgot they could gain life off of this. I thought they had to, like, lose a life in order to do this, so. This is actually better than I thought. But this still seems ridiculously winning. You don't have any more swamp. Alright! 6 0, baby! I, we definitely fucked that last turn up, but it doesn't matter. We still got there. So, alright, here's the deal. 7-0 is a guaranteed lock for top 8. 6-0, like, even if we lose the next two rounds, we're still probably at the top of the field for this. So, I have to imagine we're making top 8 for this. That's my guess. We'll find out tomorrow, alright? But this is incredible. Merfolk is just fucking bodying this format right now. We are taking it down, proving that the Fish Fam has got what it takes to compete with the most degenerate <laughs> nonsense. You can play your treasure cruises, your hymn to Tarox, your reanimates. It doesn't mean anything. Merfolk will still be there to crush you. Well, good games, opponent. I hope I wish you luck uh, in trying to get to the top eight because you're still pretty close. Like if if they win like the next two, they're locked for it as well. So, but yeah, give this a thumbs up. Come on, I have worked so hard for this. I have earned your thumbs up. Let's be real. You have you have to click that like button. One, one like equals one wave for the fish fam. So I will see you tomorrow. Take it easy, everyone.